Helicopters require less runway space than airplanes and are often smaller, but does that mean that they are cheaper? Is it actually cost efficient to own a helicopter? This video will explain everything about helicopter costs before you make that order. While there is no argument that helicopters do not get as much mention as airplanes, they are also highly coveted luxuries. Actually, many wealthy individuals and corporate organizations love to own helicopters just as much as airplanes. Angelina Jolie, Donald Trump, and Brad Pitt are few of the many names that love rotorcraft. While there are many misconceptions about helicopters due to the superior attention of private jets in the mainstream media, a major one that stands out is that helicopters are cheaper to own. Trust us when we tell you that anyone who owns a helicopter and an airplane knows this is not true. Yeah, it's true airplanes are the poster boys of the skies, but helicopters can also be good luxury alternatives if you have the cash to spare, and we mean that literally. While we will come back to this aspect again, the bottom line is that helicopters are not cheap. In fact, a helicopter with the same seat capacity as an airplane is typically costlier to purchase. Yeah, you heard that right. You still think it's unbelievable? Are you finding it difficult to wrap your head around it? Well, that's why we're here. We will explain every single detail that proves helicopters are actually quite costly. The thing is that there is the usual cost of a helicopter and the real cost of a helicopter. Both are different and if you have always made decisions based on the first, then you are in for a surprise in this video. However, before we get on to that, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It helps us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and lets us know that we are helping to enrich lives out there. If you are into aviation, look at our new aviation compilation channel, Aviation Central. It is the first link in the description. We would highly appreciate it. So without further ado, we will reveal the actual cost of owning a private helicopter in 2022. The Selling Price of Helicopters When it comes to helicopter costs, most people first consider their selling price. From a layman point of view, this is understandable because the selling price is the biggest single cost owners will handle all throughout the time they own the helicopter. However, from an analytical angle, the selling price of a rotary aircraft would become more insignificant over the years when the running cost kicks in. We will get into the running cost later on. An average private helicopter with six seats sells at $1.8 million. This price is for an already used aircraft. Now we know you may be thinking, wow, that's really high. Well, it is what it is. A brand new model will sell for about $3.1 million. There are other rotor crafts at the high end of the scale that command significant monetary commitment. We are talking about luxury helicopters that go beyond $15 million. The luxury Airbus H2225 Super Puma costs $30 million, an amount that many private airplanes cannot command. Generally, many people try to figure out why helicopters cost so much when they are significantly smaller than airplanes and fall short of giving the best luxuries. Well, that is the power of value and demand. However, it is essential to understand that you will not always have to dole out millions of dollars to purchase a helicopter. There are affordable ones that are even cheaper than a Lamborghini, so it is really not the be stinking rich or don't go for it kind of thing. The Robinson R22 Beta 11, one of Robinson Helicopter Company's most popular helicopters, comes at a peak price of $318,000. There are delivery companies that sell them brand new for $300,000. Of course, it is a two-seater helicopter, but it is also cheap. You can get a used model for as low as $50,000. Now talk about a helicopter being cheaper than a Lamborghini. Other cheap helicopters are the helicopter's Gimbal Cabri G2, which sells for $360,000, the Robinson R44 Raven 2, which goes for $465,000, and the Bell 206 B3, which sells for a little over $1 million. Now, it is possible you may not be interested in the models we have mentioned yet. That's not a problem, as you can easily find your choice by checking its manufacturing company website. Most helicopter companies do not hide their prices from the public. Some of the popular helicopters and their prices include the Bell 407, a four-blade, seven-seat model that goes for $2.7 million, the Augusta Westland AW109 helicopter at $9 million with eight seating capacity, and the Bell 206, which is sold for $900,000 and boasts six seats. So now that you know what to expect from a private helicopter selling price, you should understand getting one is only the start of your spending journey. Just like private jets, Maintenance and running costs are critical factors that should guide your choice of a helicopter. The Real Cost of Running a Helicopter The real cost of owning a private helicopter comes with actually flying it. Definitely, you do not intend to own a helicopter you won't fly 
unless you're wealthy and only want the thrill of owning a real flying toy. We bet the probability of this being the case is very slim, so we will reveal every information you need to know about operating your helicopter. The first is the model. The selling price of new models is often costlier than older ones, but that is where it ends. Older models are much more difficult to maintain and run for the long term. Like any technical gadget, you will have many challenges finding the parts of older helicopters compared to new ones. These parts often have higher prices because they have minimal supplies from factories. We have also noticed older models tend to develop faults faster than newer models. Newer helicopters are usually put through a series of tests based on the current climate needs. As such, they are more likely to stay in one piece for a long time compared to older models. Older models will likely keep developing faults, raising maintenance costs for their owners. Repairs are mighty expensive irrespective of how you look at them because of the complicated setting of helicopters. Let's take an example. You may need to fix a small replacement that would ordinarily not cost more than $20. However, the broken equipment may be hidden in an underpart of your helicopter. This situation may require major uncoupling and recoupling that could leave the expert technician spending more than 8 hours on fixing the $20 equipment. You would eventually spend close to $80 for the technician time and $20 for the repair. That is $100 for a $20 problem. Not so cheap, really. Fuel System A helicopter fuel system is an important factor that determines how much you spend every hour flying. Clearly, you must know that aviation fuel is not cheap and helicopters can consume lots of them in under an hour. Of course, a Robinson document by Robinson Helicopter Company, which was written so people feel comfortable purchasing helicopters, claimed only a little over $60 per hour is needed to fuel any standard helicopter. Well, the reality is that the price of fueling a helicopter for an hour actually tramps the claim. Then, adding the cost of repairs, servicing, and other major additions shows not even a Robinson R-22 can be maintained with $100 for every usable hour. To give more context, helicopters with piston-powered engines burn a lot of fuel. On average, this engine uses 7 to 16 gallons per hour. The 100-liter fuel which the helicopter uses currently sells for about $7 globally. It is higher in some parts of the world where the resources for creating it come scanty or are non-existent. So an engine that burns $10 gallons of fuel on the hour will actually require $70 per hour to fly. The Robinson R-22, one of the world's smallest jets, uses 10 gallons of fuel per hour. This is evidently more than the $60 per fuel cost suggested by its company articles. Standard helicopters that use about 16 gallons would need $112 per hour to fly. Models that use the turbofan engines actually use more fuel, with some requiring up to 20 gallons per hour. This is equivalent to $140 per hour for just fueling if we stick to the base fuel gallon rate of $7. Storage You see, storing your helicopter will shake some coins off you. These beautiful sky rulers have their own special storage space, which is known as hangars or heliports. Typically, you will need to build one as it will be significantly cheaper over the long term. However, building it comes with its own cost. Building a hangar can cost you as much as $200,000, and you will need to let the government authorities know your intent for clearance. If you are very wealthy, then $200,000 may not be so much, but if you are a middle-income earner, then you will want to be sure that you have this particular commitment well figured out before making a purchase. The Rigorous Testing Requirement While newer models of helicopters enjoy better flying than older models, as already highlighted, they will clearly continue to get costlier over the years. You see, helicopter pricing is not just only about its design. The rigorous test it is subjected to also plays a major role in determining its pricing. Factories designing and manufacturing helicopters will have to test them under different climate conditions. All those long flying hours to confirm their endurance capability, range, and overall safety are considered when setting their price. So as you can see, helicopter prices are not just determined by the luxury they offer. As we have already stated, your choice of purchase should not be heavily determined by how much you are likely to spend on buying it. You need to consider running it because it is where the actual spending lies. Helicopters are amazing luxury sky kings. They are fast, easy to operate than an airplane, and do not require all the runway to get underway. However, they are expensive, like really expensive. As you have watched in this video, you need to have your finances together if you want to own and keep one. The fixed buying, operation, and maintenance costs all pile up to be budget straining. We have analyzed all you need to expect before you own one. 
The Robison documentary did not do the best justice to the issue, so we decided to bring out the truth. You know it really doesn't hurt to know what you are opting for and make informed decisions. Well, this is How to Spend It, an aviation industry channel dedicated to providing viewers and fans the most realistic information about the world's helicopters and aircraft so they can make the best decisions. If you enjoyed this video and would love to know more about helicopters and their most relevant information currently, you can click the like button. You should also click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get updates on our new video. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you next time.